In this video, I will attempt to make as much money as I can from absolutely nothing in 4 hours. This is what my bank currently looks like, and these are my stats on this account. Out of the 4 hours, I will spend 3 of them doing anything I want to build up a cash stack, but the last hour has to be spent in the Revenant Caves risking all the money previously made up to that point. I am absolutely not a great PKer, so I'm a bit nervous about that part of the video, but for now, let's get this started. If you have no money, thieving is usually the way to go, so let's actually start a timer. The first thing I'm going to be doing is getting some food when I have absolutely nothing. I can't even pickpocket because I might die from doing that. So I'm going to get like a half inventory of food and then go for Knights of Ardoin, get some starter money, and then we might actually go and use that 80 Hunter to catch on Black Chumpas. I don't think I need more than this. I need a Ring of Dueling and I also need Box Traps and I think that should definitely be enough for that. So let's go ahead and run down south to the Nightmare Zone area, Yanil, and buy the Box Traps. And there is all the Box Traps. I bought some extra in case I would die, but actually I don't think I need to get a Ring of Dueling. I can actually save that money. I can just use the minigame Teleport, go to Last Man Standing, and that should be good enough. So each one of these Black Chinchumpas are worth 2,300 GP almost, and it is in the wilderness, so it is a bit risky. I could get PK'd when I have like 100k worth of them in my inventory. But hopefully that does not happen and I can make some easy money. So really what I'm going to be doing with this money is I'm going to be buying a rune pickaxe and then I'm going to try to get some maybe stamina potions and head to Salcano in Priftinas and hopefully get some money from that. There are some drops from Salcano that can be worth like 200,000 GP so that will be a very nice addition early on. Alright, 45 Black Chompas. I'm pretty happy with that. That should be a white cash stack and we should be able to buy whatever we need for Salcano with that. You know, I'm also trying to sell the box traps and the cakes because I don't really need them anymore. But there we go, that is already a white cash stack. Let's spend it on something. So we got 8 stamina potions, we got 50 sharks, we got the rune pickaxe that I needed, and also we have the Eyeworth teleport, which I'm going to be using right now. I wasn't really sure how else to get to Priftina, so this will be a good way of getting there. Even though it might not be the best way of doing it, I don't really have a dragon pickaxe, crystal pickaxe, anything like that. So I'm going to be doing it in the mass worlds and the loot should be okay anyways. So all I need to do in masses to get loot is to get 50 shield damage done and 50 health damage. And health damage is done right now when you're pickaxing him. And shield damage is done when you're mining these rocks and then turning them into tether and throwing it at the shield of the boss, which is a 300 shield right there. I am ready, let's see what the first loot is going to be. I got both of the health and the shield green, and that is 56,000 GP from one loot. That was in like no time at all as well, so very nice. I see that I need to crop the timer a bit, but that is one hour reached, and that means we've been here for like 34 minutes, and I'm going to be going out of the room, and we're going to end Salcano at this point. The overall money that we made from this was probably really good. 619k, that gives me a budget to buy some gear and actually get into some other bosses. You know, so I bought all this gear for all the money and the potions that I need to basically do Solra, and then I realized I need a Draymond staff to actually use the fairy rings to get to Solra, so I guess we're spending some time going to Entrana and getting a new one. Hey, Bronze Axe on the first zombie kill, very nice. So we spent some time on that detour, but this is my setup. I have a three-way switch. It's been a while since I did Solra, and on top of that, not with this bad gear. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Hopefully I don't die. Alright, first kill, nothing too great, but I realized I actually bought Anti-Venom instead of the Anti-Venom Plus, so I guess I have to go back to GE and buy the correct one. And there it is, that is the Anti-Venom Plus. This one actually has a Venom protection for a bit longer than like 2 seconds that the normal one has, so this should be a lot easier. Probably only have to use like 1 sip of this every single time, which is only worth like 2.5k per sip, so definitely not too much of a money sink right there. But when it comes to Solra, the consistent money is pretty good. But also on top of that, there are some uniques. These ones on the screen right now. You can see they all have pretty decent value and any of them would be a huge win to get. Back to back successful kills. What is kill number two going to give us? Ah, uh, that does not look great. <laughs> Okay, this was a very slow kill, and the loot is pretty decent, I would say. 3 minutes and 15 seconds though, yikes. So I think I'm going to be doing Solra all the way until the 2 hour mark on the clock, as I'm struggling quite a lot with this, and the loot, I mean, this is 50k right here, but the supplies are pretty expensive, so unless I get a unique, this is probably not going to be worth it. So I think 20 more minutes of doing it, hoping for a unique is the way to go. 
You know what, after this kill I'm going to be cutting it short, I'm going to do something else because with my gear I'm getting one single kill per trip and all the banking and everything, I'm not really getting many kills an hour at all. So I'm going to be ending on this one, this is actually only kill number 8 and hopefully we can get something good from this one. Let's see what the last kill is going to be and it is going to be actually pretty good, 100k, that's probably the best drop I've got so far honestly. All the loot I got from the 8 solo kills is on the screen right now. Actually slightly more than Salcano, like 4k more than Salcano, but definitely took longer this one. So we have almost exactly one hour left until I'm going to the wilderness with all the money that I've made. And we're going to be doing Corrupted Gauntlet for the last hour. It's consistent good money and it has some great potential to give massive items. Like these two items, one in 50, the Crystal Armor Seed is nearly 7 million GP. And the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed, one in 400, is almost 170 million. So if I would get that, that would be kind of insane. But let's get into it. Very nice. First attempt, got the kill. It was very close. I have no... No food left but uh, can we get lucky on the first kc let's see what we get for the first one and that seems pretty mediocre i'm getting like 10 minute runs by the way we have no rigor no augury so it takes a bit longer second loot is also very mediocre but 105k cash not bad man <laughs> i definitely feel like i haven't done this in a while i'm always so close look i have no food again on the third one but we have not failed any run so far that is very good and we get some rune halberds. I will only really have time for one more after this one. But let's see what the fourth chest is going to be. Is it going to be something good? Oh, we got dragon halberds. That's 300k. That's a lot of money, man. And that is it. That is the last corrupted gauntlet I have time for. I only have one minute left. And we're going to spend that on looting the last chest. And uh, this is going to be it. This is the final loot we're going to be getting for the entire three hours. And all the last money I will get for my PKing setup for the last hour. So far we made 764k, which is definitely not bad. And uh, maybe this last chest can like 10 times that even if I get an armor seed. Or make a lot more than that if I get a weapon seed, an ar enhanced weapon seed. So let's go ahead and open it, see what we get. And the last loot is... Nothing too great. So overall from the Corrupted Gauntlet, we managed to make 833k. Now for the first time in this video, I have paused the timer on exactly 3 hours because I need to spend some time now selling all these stuff and also getting the PK gear and the setup that I need for the 1 hour in the wilderness in the Revenant Caves. So I will come back to you guys with how much money I made from these 3 hours and then after that what PK setup I bought for all the money. And that is everything sold. We have 1.7 million GP and that is how much we made from absolutely nothing in 3 hours. So let's go ahead now and buy the PK gear and see what we can get for this money. So this right here is going to be my mage setup I'm bringing and my range setup is a 3 way switch into this right here. Now for my melee, I am actually only bringing a leaf bladed battle axe to do big hits on. It actually has a very high strength bonus. It can hit massive numbers for its cost. And then for special weapon, we have the dragon dagger. I'm also bringing 300 blighted ice sacks into the wilderness for ice brush. And I do have to pay 100,000 GP to be able to enter the revenant caves. So I will have 6,000 GP over. And the potions that I have here still is going to be if I run out of supplies before getting a PK. I do have the loot keys toggled, but that food will be dropped to the ground. So if I do get a PK, I can actually restock meanwhile in the revenant caves. During this time, I will have the PK Skull active and I'm risking 1.6 million GP right now. So let's hope that I don't die right away. Now, two things I want to go over briefly before we actually get into the live clips. The first one is I am attacking anyone that I see. If they are lower level than me, if they're just in the range of being attacked, I will attack them. If they are the absolute maximum level, 126, I will also attack them. Regardless of anything, it doesn't really matter to me. I will attack anyone. Now that being said, there are some people, regardless of level, that I will not attack and I will just give up on and that is people that are really, really tanky, especially the Din's Bulwark. The reason is because I am only at 37 Wilderness in the deepest part of the Revenant Caves and at 30 Wilderness you can instantly teleport out and there's just no way with this gear that I will be able to kill a Din's Bulwark tank in 7 or 6 Wilderness levels before they actually just tank it and run down south. I can't really kill them ever I think and I'm just really wasting supplies. So on those people I am not going to actually keep attacking them, I'm just going to hop world. 
Oh, there is a guy. He has a crossbow. He's cold. I can attack him as well. Oh, no shot, dude. This is the type of people I feel like and I can actually kill. He, he has 87 HP, though. So he has pretty high HP, but uh, it seems like he's actually failing the prayer flicks. Seven leaf blade about lags. That is not great. Oh, this guy is actually running out of the Revenant cave, so I might actually not be able to kill him before he leaves. 34, though. That's a pretty good one. DDS pick. Can we get a massive one on the wrong prayer? Oh, 12 zero. I think that was on the range prayer, but I'm not sure. Yeah, if he gets out on the uh, stairs right above me there, I do not get the 100k for the Revenant caves if I actually kill him. 38. That's my max hit with Leaf Blade about lags. I don't know. Should I? I don't think I can uh, keep attacking this guy because right of this, there is a multi zone. So I think I have to leave him here. I think when he unfreezes now, yeah, he's going to run into multi. So I'm going to give that up. So there is a guy here at the Dark Beasts, but uh, let me show you what happens when you are not at the deepest part without Teleblock. I will freeze him, and he is going to probably instantly teleport. Wait, can I actually kill him? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's basically what happens every single time. So I have to be in the deepest part to be able to actually get kills. I think this is like the worst escape attempt I've ever seen by someone. She ran up north and then ran south. Like, what was even the plan with that? But uh, I think we have fought her for quite a while now. And I don't know if she has any food left. And she's dropping items. So it doesn't seem like she has any food left. That is very nice. Unfortunately, that's not going in my loot key now. But that is the first loot key of this entire time. But I'm going to keep it in my inventory. I don't think that one is worth a lot. So I'm going to try to get a second one. Oh my god. Wait, we have PKers here? I can attack him. No shot, dude. I've been looking for, I mean, you can see 30 minutes now, and all I really find is uh, the same people with Black Dehyde killing these uh, Revenants, but there's actually a PK here, that's so hype. DDS pick, can we get a massive one? Oh my god, a 0 12 on robes, another one? 0 0 on robes, I guess the ad body as well, but man, that could have been a lot. Another one? Oh my god, 0 0 again? Oh, 725, that's a good one. And I have been teleblocked, but it seems like this guy is not the best PK. He's kind of getting annihilated by me right now, and I'm not even that good, so... DDS pick, please KO him. 25-0, that, I think that could have been a KO, actually. 23 max hit with a crossbow. Oh, there's no shot, he has no food left, there's no way. Yep, there he goes. I actually killed a PK, hopefully a pretty decent key, and this guy close to me i think i have to try to escape him i don't know if he can attack me right away i'm just spamming uh, oh there we go so i got away very nice you know what i'm pretty happy with myself getting these two pks so i'm just going to reward myself and actually open them and not risk them so let's see how much is this going to be worth hopefully something good Ooh, 566k for the second one the first one is just the revenant killer 100k guaranteed from the revenant cave uh cash that you have to put in and the second one is the Mystics, the Runes, 190k. Pretty good stuff. Okay, a bit of a backstory here. I found this guy like three times so far. And I have tried to kill him so many times. But all he does is just jump between these. And eventually, he does it perfectly. Where basically the freeze ends at the same time as he gets there. And meanwhile, I have to jump over. He actually gets a gap on me. So I've never been able to kill him. I tried to KO him so many times, but I have just never been able to. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. He got unfrozen. Maybe I should have jumped over earlier. I don't know. It's just I'm not experienced with this, so I'm just getting rolled by him. Oh, I might actually kill him here. Please get this guy. Please get this guy. 9-5, please. He's not protecting melee. No shot, dude. How does he live? What was that? That was like a 43 spec or something. Oh my god, how does he live this? Bro, he only has to run like one level and he can teleport out. Yeah, there's no way. Man, I thought I would get it there. Oh, he's not safe yet. Wait, I can actually kill him maybe. I don't have any specs though, so I highly doubt it. But yeah, that was so close. That I think that 43 spec was my opportunity. And there they go. We'll teleport out now at the 30 mark unfortunate we found ali g again and i've been fighting him for a long time now and i actually think he's out of food so this might be the time we kill him there's no shot dude he is yeah he's completely out of food only took four attempts to kill a guy with full black he had in snakeskin helmet it is what it is but i finally got him 
Got here as fast as I could to loot the key, so let's see what it's going to be. 393k, definitely not bad. Oh my god, that's a big hit, big hit. DDS, DDS. Oh my god, that's a huge DDS. Another one. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? You have 5 HP. 32... Oh my god, I feel like you could have died so many times there. No way that I did not get that kill. This is a high level player, she has 99 HP. And I was so close to killing her. That is so disheartening. I don't think I can kill her now. Yeah, that, that's so unfortunate. Like, if that 32-0 actually hit anything, just like 10 damage or less than that, like 5 damage probably on the uh, blue hit, she would have been dead. One last freeze before the safe zone. Can I actually kill her in this? I don't have any specs, so I highly doubt it. 32. Look at this leaf bladed battle axe, by the way. It's a pretty good weapon for like, what, 45k? 28. Oh my goodness. And there she goes. That is maybe the last peaking attempt I have. I have five more minutes. Maybe I can find someone else. So we have 15 more seconds in the Revenant Caves where I have to stay here. And this guy right here is an anti peaker I'm pretty sure. He brings like Ballista and a bunch of other things. So I'm probably not going to kill him. So I'm just going to leave after these three seconds and I will be safe out with all my gear. Hopefully he doesn't follow me and try to PK me. He ran away. I am safe and we have completed the challenge. I did not die in the last hour and lost all that stuff, but we did actually make money with the loot key. So let's have a look at that. So let's go ahead and put everything in my inventory and equipped into the bank to see the final result of this. Let's do that. And the final result is almost 2.5 million GP. That of course would have been significantly lower if I actually died in the Revenant Caves. This is actually the first time I've ever done anything like this where I have zero GP and I have to make money in a restricted time. I definitely did not do the absolute optimal path, but I feel like I'm very happy with what I did. But if you guys have any advice on what I could have done better, please leave it in the comment section below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to be updated with whatever future videos I post. And until next time, guys, take care.